Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining today's webinar. So let's go ahead and get into it. So kind of graphically, how a SIM works is, uh, and, and how we, we do it with our customers, is we, we point to all this log information, the logs from the firewall, the logs from a web server, or maybe from our domain controller, um, logs from maybe a core switch. Um, and we point those at our, um, at our SIM that's going to then look at all of these, and it's going to start um, doing correlation. Um, from an alerting perspective, there's really two ways that this happens. One is, um, okay, we've got this log coming in from, you know, your firewall. It's showing that, you know, somebody is just hammering on the firewall with credentials that are, are incorrect. Um, and maybe this person is also in um, Russia or is in China. Um, and that by itself, just from that system, can raise a, a high severity alert. But uh, I think the more powerful piece is the, the correlation aspect. So um, let's say we see somebody logging into the firewall. Um, you know, they're coming in over the uh, over the VPN. That's great. Maybe they even use um, multi-factor in this case, um, uh, or maybe it's it's just uh, not multi-factor protected. But somebody's coming in through the firewall. Um, but then uh, within kind of the same time span, there we also see somebody logging into a network computer that's maybe on-prem um, or logging in against a local uh, domain controller. Uh, and then you have an instance of why is this person logging in through VPN as well as being logged in um, through, through this system too. And that's something, two events by themselves that would not raise a red flag that when correlated are going to, to raise a high severity alert. A SIM absolutely takes 24 by 7 um, guidance. And right along with that is the incident response team. And then lastly, the incident response plan. Um, so all of these elements are important to have. Uh, and of course, um, these are all part of a pulse alarm service. Um, so if you have questions on any of those or getting started with those, reach out to um, your account manager, reach out to myself, or just info at peters.com. Um, Anyone here would be happy to kind of walk you through what those, those options are. Um, and of course, here's all of our contact information if you do want to reach out about um, some of these, um, the things that we talked about. Uh, 